Hey, are you home? Look, I don't want to waste your time, and I don't feel like going to the hospital right now. But can you help me out? Yeah, clearly I am. Because I was looking for you. I don't want to cause any more trouble as it is, but you live close and... <sighs> Thank you. This may not sound conventional after midnight. Yeah, okay. They got me good. Because they were being rude? I wasn't going to let them take it. I threw some punches, that's all. Then it got crowded and things just got out of hand. The moment I looked up, you were gone. And that's when the bastard struck me. I thought for sure something happened to you too. No, I don't have a concussion. If I did, I'd be laying outside the street. But one of them took a round serving board and hit me. <laughs> As if he's Captain America. Hey, hey, just calm down. I'm not trying to make the night more prolonged as it is. I don't choose to get into fights. You and I were having a nice, quiet evening until those assholes decided to ruin it. Yes, I promised, but I couldn't help it. Ow! It stings, but it's fine. I was being polite, but just the way those pricks were treating you, it was uncalled for. And well, what I did was uncalled for. I'm sorry for the way I acted. I understand. <laughs> this is nothing. You're doing fine. Obviously, my face, my stomach, and back are aching. Here. <sighs> oh, man. Now my shirt is torn. Might as well get new ones. You should see my wardrobe. Of all my faded clothes. Uh, what is it? Why do you look so shocked? Yes, those are my abs. This is the result of working out every day. My six-pack isn't going to fix my wounds. You know, for your information, girls can be perverts, just as guys are too. That's a fact. Wait, is this the first time you've seen my abs? <laughs> Those models and actors showing off their bods in magazines and movies don't count. Oh my god, you are more shy than I imagined. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I like it. But all laughs aside, can you check my back too? <sighs> yep, yep, that explains the pain I feel. Yeah, what is it? Why am I dating you? Well, because you're sweet and chill. Why do you think I want some other chick who is a higher status than you? Well, 
sure, I've dated many women in my life. Ones with big titties and smooth asses, and others, you know, not so much. And they can put up a good fight. However, sometimes those girls can be bitchy, and can't stop being so clingy. But you, you're not like them. Because out of our entire social group, you're the only girl I've talked to the most. Seriously. We can talk about anything until the time passes. Well, no matter what the topic is, at least I get to still see you. And, you know, as a guy, I don't really display a lot of emotion. I'm often very stoic, even if it gets my ass kicked sometimes. But I feel like I can talk about anything with you. And you can listen, just as I have listened to you. It makes me feel calm. That doesn't have to be true. You've been supportive for everyone. And I've listened to your life story, your hobbies, and the way you excel at things. You're smart and passionate about all kinds of things, and, dare I say, you seem to be lonely. How? Again, the conversations we have. And in some ways, you were very sad. Well, just the way that you are by yourself sometimes. Like when our entire circle of friends show up and you put on a smile. It's really great. It's like a radiant light. And then, whenever I see you a distance away, that kind of radiant light is gone. And of course, you know, as shy as you are, you still manage to put a smile on other people's faces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know it sounds cliche, but regardless, you give me inspiration. No joke, you force me to become better. One who can be not just strong and resilient, but also confident. <laughs> who cares what other people think about us? Yeah, I may look like the typical bad boy you might see in pop culture, but none of that matters. I just hope that I don't scare you, that's all. I don't want that. Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> a rebel like me, spending time with a girl like you? Hell yeah. We definitely shock everybody. <sighs> Thanks for doing this. Well, even if our date was not all that great tonight, I can make it up to you. I'm giving you permission. May I take your hand? You feel this? My heart. That's what happens when I'm with you. Technically, it was our first date. And there's still a few hours left tonight. What do you want to do?